Hello dear YouTuber friends and I do hope you're all keeping well. Welcome to this new video. As you can see I'm using head tracking on Microsoft Flight Sim PC once again. This time I'm using the DLAN Fusion Clip. It's a wireless solution offered by DLAN and with the DLAN Cam 1 it even works in low light conditions. A lower cost head tracking solution which I'll be talking about in this video. So in this video I'm going to give you my overall impressions of using the DLAN Fusion. Bit of a spoiler. It works remarkably well. I'll be showing you the DLAN website. Uh, going over the cost of the unit, which once again is lower price than many or the majority of the competitors out there. Showing you a bit of the setup, how to set it up in the sim. And at the end of the video, I'll come back to give you my overall impressions and conclusion of using the DLAN Fusion. Well listen, let's not dilly dally. Stick my head out the window. Let's get on with this video. Okay, let's get straight into this one and give you my impressions of using the DLAN Fusion. Now again, I must stress this is for PC Microsoft Flight Sim only. There's no current head tracking marketed head tracker out there for Xbox. Hopefully it will come in the future, but do keep that in mind. I've got to say, at the moment, I'm recording this on quite a gloomy UK morning. It's quite dark and wet outside. So I'm recording this in low light conditions with the DLAN Cam 1, which is a new camera from DLAN Engineering. It even tracks in low light conditions. There you go, stick my head out the window there. Oh, get a bit of vertigo when you do that. And it's tracking absolutely fine. I'm using a default profile that you get supplied. I'm going to show you the DLAN website in a moment. I'm just using their default profile with this. And I'm tracking absolutely fine. Now I'll show you a picture on screen of how I've got the DLAN Fusion attached to my headphones. So there you go. There's no wires there. Let's just take that picture off screen. You charge it up using a micro USB cable. Depending what package you buy, you'll get that supplied. Now, DLAN Engineering, bless them, they sent me the Fusion and DLAN Cam 1, but not a micro USB cable. But I had plenty uh, lying to one side, so I just used any micro USB cable. And apparently you get 14 to 20 hours charge with this thing. And remember, the only cable you've got going, USB cable you've got going to your PC, is for the DLAN Cam 1. And that would be similar for others. Things like Toby, the only cable you have is for the Toby unit. But with the actual Fusion Clip, I'm just using it wirelessly and I'm not attached, I don't feel tethered to my PC, I'm just using my headphones. And I've got to say, just using it straight out of the box with the profile supplied, it just feels so intuit intuitive and natural to use in Microsoft Flight Sim. Typically, I do have a button bound to turn head tracking off, there you go, I've got it turned off. Typically, if I'm landing or taking off, I'll turn head tracking off when I'm getting used to it with this one. Didn't feel I had to, it just works wonderfully, and again, even in low light conditions. Now, I'll show you a, an image on screen of the D-Line clip itself. Unlike the old version, this is a compact solid piece of plastic and quite lightweight as well there's no bare wires showing there as you can see on screen and I'm showing you the DLAN Cam 1 it's a new sort of camera and it just clips well to your monitor 
just take that image off screen and I'll show you an image of how I've got the DLAN Cam 1 attached to my monitor. With the new mounting system it's a breeze to attach. So there you go, take that off screen as well. I've got to say, just using it. And I've got to reiterate this, it just feels very natural and intuitive to use in the sim straight off. I've got to say, I'm actually quite digging it. Well, okay, like I mentioned before, it's a lower cost uh, head tracking unit. Let me now take you to the DLAN uh, Clip website where I'm going to go over the price of the units and also how to set it up for Microsoft Flight Sim. So let's go on to the DLAN Clip website. So it's dlanclip.com. Very easy, but I'll link it down in the description. This is a homepage. You've got a chap here. I've seen him elsewhere. I think it's quite a famous YouTuber, but he's showing the D-Lang uh, Fusion working in DCS World there. Scroll down the page though, it'll give you a supposed game, these are the most popular games. You may find that the D-Lang Fusion works with some games that other head tracking solutions may not work with. So it's well worth investigating there. Scroll down the page, look, I'm linked on their homepage. If I click that, it'll show me using the D-Lang Clip, the old D-Lang Clip, with DCS World. Maybe they'll update that after I got this video out but it's nice to see myself linked on one of these companies homepage and you've also got one from frugal there frugal sim is a youtuber back in the day that we all used to watch it's before microsoft flight sim uh, release did do a few videos on microsoft flight sim but then he retired frugal if you want to come back one day i would love to do a collaboration video with you and i know a couple of other content creators who would love to be a part of that do let me know by the way there you go i'm linked and a couple of other youtubers are linked isn't that nice so that's the homepage. let's take you to the shop now here you can buy the DLAN Fusion with the DLAN Cam 1. It's a cam I'm using at the moment. It's the one that DLAN Clip Engineering sent to, DLAN Engineering sent to me. And it works well. It seems in any kind of lighting. Uh, now there's, there's a couple of uh, ambiguities here. This is the price it's got listed here. If you go read more, it's got a different price listed. Uh, DLAN Engineering, can you clear that up? Which price will we pay there? Will it be this price or the other price? But there you go. If you click on show more, maybe go with this one here. As you can see, it's less than half the cost of the Toby. The Toby Eye Tracker 5 is a fantastic. It's simply one of the best eye tracking and head tracking solutions out there i'll link the video i did for it down below in the description if you found that price too much for you then this could well be right up your alley shows you what you get uh, uh bundled there you get the fusion and the dlan cam one and there you go cable free solution and that's the old DLAN clip, but we're not talking about that in this video. And I believe it will come up with all these goodies. So the micro USB, it's got a magnetic link there in case you want to use it wired. I don't know why you would. And the DLAN Cam 1 as well there. <sighs> so there you go. That's the price of that. But say you owned something like the old DLAN clip, you've got the old camera. You can use the old camera with this as well. I would recommend getting the DLAN Cam 1. Like I said, it just works better and seems to work in all different kinds of uh, like conditions. Or you can buy the cam itself for a low price. So there you go, £59. Uh, or if you have, like I said, a camera, you just want to buy the DLAN Fusion itself. There you go, £64.99. That's a difficult price to be. That's an excellent price. So there you go. That's the different pricing options. I would go to read more there if you're tempted by this and go with this one, obviously. So you're going to get a DLAN Cam 1 and a Fusion. And I believe from the looks of the package there, you're going to get the USB cable as well to charge it up. Uh, I wouldn't use it tethered. You might as well charge it up and get 15, 14 to 20 hours use of it and use it wirelessly. That's the whole uh, premise of this. That's the whole attraction of this. But let me now take you to the part where how to set the DLAN Fusion up with the DLAN Cam 1. Okay, so let me show you how to set this up, how I set it up. And it was a 
very easy to do. Just go to the setup page here. Then you want to click, if you've got the Fusion, click on the D-Line Pro series. And there you go. Shows you the camera. The camera comes with a cap on the front. Obviously, you remove that, so you just take that off. It's a little plastic cap. I had to twist my camera to the right a few times, and I'm going to show you this in a moment, show you in, in action in a moment, to get it to work properly. Uh, you may have to do that. The, the lens itself twists round. I just turned it to the right a couple of times, and then I got the best solution. If you scroll down, then you mount this, as you can see, it's got a very unique mounting system. It just clips and stays in your monitor perfectly with that new mounting system. Nice to see, DLAN. Well done on that. And then you download the next step, step two. So you just follow these steps, step by step, basically. Open track software. So if I right click that, open a new link, it will start to download. I've got it installed already, so I'm not going to install it again. I'll cancel that. And our profiles for the open track, you would download that as well. So open track software and their profiles, download both of them. And save these profiles in an accessible, maybe on your desktop, accessible folder. And then you would run, once you've downloaded it, just follow the instructions here, all the instructions. Once you downloaded open track, you would run it, you would navigate, I've got it up and running. Navigate to this profile here. Don't have it, don't press start, just navigate to this profile and open the configuration directory. And you would basically put, so do you remember the profiles I mentioned before? Have them in an accessible folder, copy and paste them to this default folder. So this is the default directory. You go to profile here, open configuration directory, copy and paste them into this directory. And then when you've done that, you would choose point tracking. Basically, I'm just showing you what it's telling you to do here. There you go. Copy and paste them. That's what I did to that directory. So I've got them all in that directory. And then you would choose the DLAN point tracking, which I'll show you again. Just choose that one there. And leave the rest here alone. And then what you would do, you would start it. Let's just start that. It might take a second to actuate and start it before you use micro. You want this kind of display. So position your camera. If you need to turn the lens, do that. If you need to uh, alter a couple of things. Now, which one was it? It's in an input. If you need to alter it, you want to get it to extracted points three OK. So you move this slider. I'm not going to move it because I've got it set perfectly. This is the way it works for me. And I've got 3OK OK showing down there. If it's not showing 3OK, OK, it'll show bad or something. And you want a display. You want yourself centered in the screen. And bind a button. I've got a, bound, a button bound on my controller just to reset the head tracking. So you do that in open track. You would do that in options and center. I've just, there, you, there you go. You just press bind and press a button to center your view. So there you go. If you follow all that, and follow the rest of it, you should, there you go. That's where I've had to move that slider, as I showed you before, with the options here. Just to get this showing when it's working free OK, or whatever it was. When you follow all that, and ideally do it out of the sim, so when you press start, you are getting a similar display as to what I'm having here. Then press, uh, then start Microsoft Flight Sim, and you should have head tracking enabled, and you'll be able to look around freely. Okay, so follow those instructions on setup, and you should be fine. Let me now take you to my conclusion and recommendations. Okay, so recommendations and conclusion time. Do I recommend the DLAN Fusion? Well, you know what? absolutely do. Now, I own, of course, the Toby Eye Tracker 5. I'm going to stay away from a comparison in this video. That will be a whole new video of its own and a lot to talk about there. Even though I own the Toby Eye Tracker 5, I find myself right at home using the DLAN Fusion. It's a nice feeling not being tethered. I mean, you have to wear headphones or a cap of some sort to use the actual Fusion clip itself. 
but there's a nice feeling of not feeling tethered to the PC. You get a mighty big charge when you charge the unit up, the fusion up. If you charge it up fully, you're going to get a lot of hours used to it. And with the default profile, I found myself not having to tweak with that. It just works well. And even in low light conditions with the DLAN Cam 1, which is a nice touch. It's as good as. In fact, it suits me rather well. Uh, as good as any other head tracking solution out there, I've found. But, do let me know your thoughts. Do you have the DLAN Fusion? How are you finding it? Do you have the original DLAN clip and you feel a bit tethered or track IR and you want a wireless solution? Are you tempted by this? With the price of the unit, I would say absolutely go for it. But do let me know your thoughts below. Give the video a like if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe for more, many more Flight Simulator videos on their way. And I'll be seeing you soon.